Loin d'abord. Hi guys, welcome to a little product introduction and video review on a pretty cool little item. This is a Sony Cybershot DSC HX 20V. Um, a really nice camera. I can't say too much more than it. this is an awesome camera. I uh, really like it a lot. Very compact, very sleek in design. Uh, a little bit bigger than your standard pocket cameras, but you know, not that large. With a lot of capabilities um, in this camera. Now, I'm not going to cover everything just because it, there's quite a bit of stuff to cover. But overall, um, a really good camera. Now you get a 20x optical zoom and a 20x digital zoom. The digital zoom, usually digital zooms aren't that great, but in this camera, I gotta say it's outstanding. Great work, Sony. Good job. Uh, you really nailed it with this camera. The digital zoom, nice, crisp, clean, clear pictures. Uh, outstanding work. The HD video is really nice, very good. You can actually adjust the camera. Uh, zooming in, zooming out while you're shooting video. It's almost like having a Sony camcorder, and Sony camcorders are really great. Um, really good work with it, you know. Uh, the other thing that it has, uh, you won't notice it here on the outside body. Uh, you can't see a flash here. That is a, a little light sensor that uh, comes on, but the flash is actually concealed here in the top of the camera. The reason for this is because you can't keep a flash so close to the barrel. This is a very compact design and uh, the flash being right here on the camera body it's going to give some nasty shadows with the barrel extending in and out. Uh, so what Sony did was, I'll turn on the camera here, the on button is here on the top. You also have your other controls. Pop that on and then uh, we're going to go ahead and put on the um, flash. There it goes. It extends out. It's all uh, done with the little motor you don't have to press it down or anything it'll do it by itself but since that barrel extends out you know you have to put the flash a little higher so they did and really nice very clean very crisp pictures with the flash uh, does a really good job you've seen how far the ex barrel extends out when uh, in its full you know 20x optical uh, zoom and then you got an additional digital zoom with that you get really cr clean pictures at uh, long distances it's really nice so when you turn off the camera or you're done shooting with the flash, it automatically goes inside. So does the uh, the lens. Um, the back end you have this is the business end. You have the uh, the large, you know, large screen, really clean, crisp, um, nice quality screen. Sony just naturally does that with their cameras. Uh, the all the other buttons and controls are here. Let me see if I can get them to focus just a little bit better. I don't know if I can. It's the camera that I'm using, <laughs> using a camera to do a review on a camera. So, um, you can see the buttons there. They have uh, playback, uh, the controls for the flash, and the menu and everything else. Really nice, easy to use. Uh, you can use it straight out the box. It's not really complicated. The, uh, the quality on the screen is really clean, crisp, clear. Uh, it's just Sony. You know, they do it well, and they do it right a lot of the times. Now, the price tag on this camera is going to be a little bit high. It's going to run around almost, give or take, a little bit over 300, maybe four in and around there. So you really got to be spending a little bit of money on it, but you know, it's well worth the camera um, just because of the quality of the photography work. I mean, you get uh, nice, crisp, clean pictures. I, I say it's worth the money and uh, definitely worth the time. The other thing is, you know, it it's a Sony and it's going to last you. So that's really good too. Now on the bottom end you have your main plug in here for your uh, battery to charge your battery. Your battery sits inside this little pocket here. You don't really need to get in there a lot but you can get in there with gloves on. I am using gloves and it is easy to pop into. Uh, you have your memory card on the bottom, your uh, battery on the top, uh, closes back up and then if you want to you can use the same plug in to uh, connect to your computer and download any videos or um, photos from your camera. Now, the video quality, HD quality, beautiful video. Um, the the f pictures really nice. You know, uh, does a really great job. You know, you don't really have too much. Uh, the you don't get the cloudiness on the uh, the zoom, the digital zoom and stuff. Um, other than that, you know, it does have another feature, which is that GPS feature. 
that allows you to turn that on. You can turn it on or turn it off. Um, with it on, you can, are able to, when you're traveling or wherever, um, whenever you take a photo, it's going to tell you exactly where you were when you took that photo. That's a nice little feature to have if you're sort of doing like blogging or maybe traveling. Um, with the optical zoom, the 20x optical zoom, you're going to be able to reach out and touch somebody from long distances, no problem. Uh, HD video is really great. The um, stereo sound, I mean, it's an all... It's an all-inspiring camera, actually. Uh, it does have another feature, which is the 3D feature. I don't have a 3D, um, as far as a 3D television, to test out the, the 3D feature and stuff. And so I didn't really get to do a lot of uh, stuff with that. Maybe in the future I will do some more. But um, overall, the best bang for your buck, i got to say. Now, the only gripe I did have... And it's not really a big gripe. It's the uh, the charging capabilities. Now this is the plug that you get with your camera, and then you also get your charger. Uh, one thing I do like about the chargers that they have that little flip thing where your plug-in goes back into the the charger body, and you're not going to get your prongs bent off uh, with that. You know they, they'll save your prongs from getting bent, and it's a little bit easier from uh, packing it in a bag with the prongs out than you know putting it in. It's a, a little tighter design, so I like that. Um, I wish though Sony had it so that you can just take out the battery and plug the battery into this and then charge it and then you're good to go. Um, they make it so that you, you plug it in and then you plug in your cord into the camera. Now that restricts you know the movement and stuff and even if you wanted to use the camera you cannot take photos while the camera's charging. You can only uh, look at your old photos and review your photos. You cannot take uh, photos while you're, you're charging the camera. And that's my only little gripe. I mean, if you're going to go ahead and plug it in, you should be able to take photos with it. So other than that, everything's great about it. Really nice camera. Um, really happy with it. Uh, other people in the family have used it, and they really enjoy it also. So that's a, a thumbs up for the, the Sony camera. And uh, you guys have a good one. Be safe. Take care. And we'll definitely talk to you soon. Stay tuned for some uh, added pictures that I'm going to add to it and um, a little bit of video clip. You guys have a good one. Be safe. Take care. And I'm out. A little quick video action. Uh, this is my Taurus 357 Magnum revolver. Really nice pistol. Camera works really nicely. You can see that the zoom operates fine and um, the video quality is outstanding. I really like it a lot. So Thanks for watching the video. You guys be safe. Take care. I'll definitely talk to you soon.